Hello everyone, I'm Zach and this is DIY with Best Fiends, the show where you get to learn how to make some cool and crafty stuff without breaking the bank. And today we have a special craft that's bound to bring a little fiendish color and class to your home with this Japanese-inspired door curtain featuring Rose the Orchid Mantis. And to complete this craft, you only need a few things. About one and a quarter yards of white cotton or muslin fabric, clear tape, clear gel glue, red fabric dye, a large pot you can use fabric dye in, tongs, gloves, a wooden dowel, scissors, a hot glue gun, and the rose line art pattern found in the description below. To start off, go ahead and print out the line art of rose we provided in the description below. About 12 sheets of paper when tiled together. Carefully tape the art together and set it down on your workspace. Next, center your fabric over the tape together design. Your fabric should be a lightweight 100% cotton or muslin fabric, which is sheer enough to easily make out the black lines through it. Using your clear glue, trace the lines of the design and fill in solid black spaces. Make sure you take your time on those details. Now go ahead and allow your glue to dry. This can take a pretty long while. Once it's dry, pull the fabric from your paper. It may be stuck, but that's a good thing. Anything stuck to the fabric will come off in the dye bath or when you rinse it. Now it's dye time. Briefly soak your fabric in cold water since wet fabric takes dye more evenly. Mix your dye with cold water in a large pot. Follow the ratio of water to dye suggested on your product. Do not use warm or hot water since it will make your glue melt and ruin the craft. Wearing gloves and using tongs, submerge your fabric into the dye bath. Dye the fabric for 30 to 45 minutes, turning and making sure the dye bath is even. Your clear glue may take on the color of the dye, which is totally normal, so don't worry. Now at this point, when rinsing out in cold water, you don't need to rinse it out 100%, but just don't wash it with your regular clothes if that is the case. And then when you rinse it out in warm water, that's gonna melt away all of the glue, revealing the undyed part of the fabric. Once your fabric is dry, cut a line up the center, leaving about a foot still together at the top. Lay your wooden dowel at the top of your curtain and fold your fabric over it. Using your hot glue gun, attach it where the fabric meets in a loop. As always, be careful when using a hot glue gun since it can be very hot. And congratulations, your rose door curtain is done. Whoa, wow, now that's some hard work for a really special traditional style Best Fiends craft. Fun fact, these are called a norin in Japan and they're used to separate the kitchen and the dining room and like keep the smoke from coming in from the kitchen. But you don't need to do that. You can hang it anywhere in your house, in a doorway, in a closet doorway, or even on your wall, just to show off your awesome work. And if you can think of any other crafts to make using Best Fiends, let us know in the comments below or on any of our social media. And that's it for this episode of DIY with Best Fiends. Thanks for coming on this crafting journey with Rose and I. And if you end up making this, make sure you snap a photo and post it with the hashtag DIYWBestFiends. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next episode. You're still here? It's over. Go home. <laughs>